Hello and welcome to this new tutorial for Midas Civil. Today we'll talk about the construction stage analysis of a bridge using a composite section. So I will show you how to assign the loads to this composite bridge and how to make the construction stage analysis with it. Next week we will talk about cable state bridge analysis. So don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get the new tutorial every week. First thing I will do is to close this uh, project and open a new window. Now during one minute I will talk about the procedure we will follow during this tutorial. So you can uh, download the PDF from her website midasuser.com. The um, Analysis uh, usually for the construction stage is done uh, like that. First, you define the material and the section properties. Then, you define some structure groups, boundary groups, and load groups. Uh, then, you define the construction stages. You activate the boundary group and load groups, which correspond to each construction stage. Uh, and you activate the floor section, which correspond to each construction stage. And finally, you can review the results for each construction uh, stage. So this is the cross section of the bridge we will uh, use. So as you see, it is a composite section with uh, steel uh, girders and some slab uh, in concrete material. So girder, the cross beam uh, will be in steel, and the slab will be in concrete. C6000. Uh, Loading will be the dead load uh, before the composite action, the cell weight, cell weight of the st steel girder, and the cell weight of the concrete slab, and the dead load after the composite action. And this is the construction stage. So here you have the, the beam of the bridge and uh, the stage of construction. So during the first stage the steel structure is constructed and then during the second stage we pose the first uh, part of the concrete slab and then uh, the other two parts during the stage 3 and 4. So this is the load case cases and the load groups. Uh, and the boundary conditions and finally the construction stages okay so let's go in the software and begin to do that so first of all uh, we have created a new project now for the unit we'll use kilonewton and meter so if you didn't use this unit you can still change uh, on this bottom part of the screen now we will uh, go into the property tab and enter the material properties. So first uh, click on add in the material tab and choose the steel material. Standard will be ASTMS and for the first one choose A53 and click on apply to add it to your project. Now uh, we'll just find the A36 material and apply again and now for the concrete material you have to change the type of material you're using the standard for concrete is STMRC and we'll choose grade 6000 and click OK to add the material now we'll create the section properties so Go in the section tab and click on. Okay, now let's click on add to add the composite section. So just click on the composite tab, enter the name, then choose the type of the section, still I, enter the coefficient 2 for the guarders. So 
So when you entered all these coefficients, you can click on select the material from the DB and here select the concrete material and the steel material which is in the section and click on OK and these coefficients will be automatically defined. So there's only one thing to uh, change here. The DS uh, divided by DC ratio has to be set to zero. So in fact this coefficient represents the unit waste still uh, vs the concrete so uh, it's, the value should be assigned to zero because uh, we will treat slab uh, weight as a beam load so uh, we we'll don't want to use the self weight of the concrete so when you have done that click on OK to add your section to this now we'll create two other sections with the same properties so you can simply select this uh, and copy it two times then click on modify just to modify the name so section 2 and section 3 ok and add a fourth section uh, from this DB user menu ID4 uh, choose the I section click on user defined and enter the appropriate coefficients then click on OK and you have to define a section name so call it CBIM and click on OK now close this window now we'll enter time dependent material properties so in fact time dependent material properties uh, are used to define uh, and to consider the variation in concrete strengths which is led by variations in the model of elasticity of the concrete also the creep and the drying shrink rate developing with time so here uh, select creep and shrinkage and click on add enter name mat1 here for the compressive strength of the concrete at the age of 20 days uh, we can enter 20,000 for the, this coefficient the relative humidity will be uh, 70 the notational size of the member is 0 0.245 the type of the cement will just use normal uh, apply you can show the result to uh, to see the curve the, of uh, creep and click on OK to assign it, then close the menu. Placed concrete is hardened and gains strength with age. So, to consider this, a function of compressive strength of the concrete is given by the CEB uh, FIP code. The data entered in the time dependent material dialog box is adopted in the time dependent material. So, uh, you have to choose the time dependent uh, material and compressive strength dialog box and here we'll add this uh, in this window so again enter name you can call it also mat1 uh, we'll use the code and we'll use the CEB FIP code we'll use the same 20,000 for the age uh, of hardening and redraw graph so here you have the view of uh, the time dependent material the compressive strength click on ok and close finally uh, in Midas Civil the time dependent material is defined separately from the conventional material and the time dependent material properties can be assigned to a conventional material selected so
you have to click on material link to assign uh, the, the dependent material properties uh, to the concrete slab so here select the material you just created and in the, this menu select the concrete material and add it uh, to the selected material you can add modify and close the window so uh, we're done with the assignment of the materials and the sections uh, next step is to assign the groups so the structure group, the boundary group and the load group to do that go in the group of the the group tab of the three menu click first on the structure group right click click on the second new button um, enter a name so uh, it will be S group and add it now close so you added one structural group now we'll use uh, the same methods to add some boundary groups so enter name B group and this time we'll generate uh, sorry we'll add this and then we'll add another we'll call it E whites and this time we'll use the suffix function one two three in order to generate three groups at the same time click on close now let's do the same for the load group click on new and first one will be dlbc group suffix one two four and and DLAC add oh, sorry just want to add one so I will change the name okay close and now you added your five load groups <laughs> 